loafer. All right, it doesn't matter whether you want a lug loafer that we have coming up a little later with like more of a lug bottom, or this, which is on a very popular Clark's bottom, the Ashley. The loafer is the shoe to have. I was just at the mall the other day. I was going to return something that Steve had gotten, and I was standing behind a woman who had a loafer on, and her entire outfit was awesome, but it was these loafer shoes that I just couldn't get enough of. So if you're not wearing a loafer yet, and you need one that's kind to your feet, this one will be that. It's from the Clark's collection, so lots of great comfort inside beautiful stitching on the outside and it's a newer style that's been absolutely loved so i want to show you your three choices while we have free shipping and five easy payments meaning 13 dollars 80 cents can bring your coral cora ashley home so this is the dark tan and it is a darker tan option with the black um, outsole then i have like a plummy color we're calling it burgundy to be exact, also a black outsole. And then there's one more choice, and that's gonna be your black option. And obviously very tonal because you get the black upper in this case, but you also get the black outsole. It's been loved. We just showed it in one of um, our Monday night fashion shows called The Style Report. And 3,800 orders have been placed since day one of shopping for Cora Ashley. So Liana, I mean, I could go right into the footbed and the insole, but truly, if you don't have time to read the fashion magazines, if you know you are trying to figure out what looks are in for the fall, I honestly want to go first yes. with the whole idea of the loafer being the in shoe. Absolutely agree, Amy. You know, the loafer is always timeless. It's always classic, but this season, it's like the it shoe to have. So whether you have that ballet flat or just a traditional loafer, this is all we're seeing out there. So if you're not wearing a boot, you're not wearing a heel, it's such a great shoe to wear. It's the Cora. The Cora is an update to our Ashland bottom. And that's one of our most popular best-selling outsoles, but we made it a little bit more streamlined. So it's about an inch and three quarters on the outsole. The upper is the Ashley. It's like an oily leather. So it has kind of a suede leather feel to it, but has that band across the top, which is separated pieces of leather. Then the beautiful stitch work that's there. That is really the hand of Clark. So really gives it that handcrafted look on each side of the vamp are gore, pieces of gore there that give you that added flexibility. And then inside is that ultimate comfort footbed. So it is purposeful padding where you need it most. So underneath your heel, right at your arch and underneath the ball of your foot is targeted cushion pads right there. You see that where you need it most again right underneath your heel right at your arch and underneath the ball of your foot it's also going to wick away that moisture so it keeps it breathable so if you are wearing it barefoot which i like to wear my wear my loafers barefoot with maybe an ankle jean it's really going to look great with all of your looks and they're all on a black outsole so ties back to everything in your wardrobe well and think about your jeans think about your leggings yes. think about your skirts and dresses we had a very popular pump first up in the show, but if, you know, yes. heels, whether they're kitten heels or five inch heels, they're just not who you are, sub your heels out for a loafer this year. And with the free shipping going away at midnight, we even lose the five easy payments at midnight. This is one of those better priced options in the entire hour because it's under 70 and with Clark's quality and their beautiful leather uppers, we tend to be closer to that $80, $90 price range. I would not wait because this really is the shoe to have, but with Clark's being the brand, you get the quality, you get the comfort that you want. I have the tan in my hand. I was just thinking it has that little slit. I don't know if you ever would want to do this, but you could put a penny. <sighs> It's like a penny keeper, loafer, right? And make them that true penny loafer. We did that all the time. <laughs> Dan upstairs was like, well, should we do the quarter now or is it still the penny? <laughs> Things have changed. Maybe we should up it to the quarter. So this is tan. Liana has the black in her hand. And when I see the black, I think about like the black stockings and tights and pantyhose, right. whatever you want to call them. Um, it's always nice to have like that beautiful leg lengthening effect when you do your black tights and then your black loafer with some sort of holiday skirt or dress. And then there's this wonderful plum option is what I want to call it, but we have decided to title this one Burgundy. Liana, it's been weeks since I had this in my style, style report show. 
But don't you think it is just a little bit more of like a purpley dark plum color yes, than like a, a wine plum. burgundy? I agree, right, not a deep burgundy. Yeah, and you know, um, as far as heel height, we do have a measurement with this shoe. We're saying an inch and three quarters, but yes. don't you think that's rather evened out so we don't feel a, a painful pitch with our foot here at all on the shoe? Not at all, because it tapers as it gets to the front right there as well. And also, this is really broken in for you as soon as you get it home, Amy. So it has all those flex grooves on that outsole that are just going to move and bend with you. Super soft on those uppers. So as soon as you get it home, it's going to feel like your favorite shoe, no doubt. So whether you commute, you're a school teacher, you're in sales, you, know, you need a black, a new black loafer because this one's so tonal. This is gonna be perfect and feel so comfortable. Also around the back is padding, fully padded at the back heel, which I was feeling that as we were talking, it's really super comfortable. Well, and I'm, I'm gonna let Dan give you that close up right there, that's where all that yeah. padding is. But I do have an update. Over 150 orders placed tonight. There's just those three colors that we review, the tan, the black, and then that burgundy. But if you want it, doesn't it make sense to get it on the night where there's free shipping and handling? I mean, I know the shipping was only about $5, but that's $5 now. You wouldn't have to pay tonight. And then I love that we also, in honor of our nonstop holiday party, put everything on five or more easy payments. So your payment in this case, $13 and change. Now, Liana mentioned earlier that she doesn't wear socks with her loafers, and I don't either. But we want to tell you, if you do, girl, then keep doing that. Go for right. it. If it's a little trouser sock, you know, if you like to even put like a longer boot cut pant over it and you don't see skin at all on the top part of your foot, there's no wrong way to wear a loafer. Yeah. I'm just suggesting that if you want to be in, if you want to be hip, if you want to be stylish, if like, you know, you used to rely on your daughter so much to help you figure out what was in every year, but now she's off at college or <laughs> married and, you know, running a household of her own. I, let Leon and I be your mother, your sister, your daughter, <laughs> your fashion lovers and tell you the loafer is the shoe to wear this yes. fall and this winter everywhere. Absolutely is. And we have a couple others also in the show. We so do. The really other one, just so everyone knows, has more of a, different. a lug bottom. And then we have right. one that has more of like a stretchy upper the way that our pump That's did. That's right. Squared off toe. Very different. But they're yeah. all great loafers. I almost want to say that this out of the three is probably the easiest as far as style. Right. It's probably the most traditional like when you think of a loafer the lug adds a little bit more trend and then the stretchy upper adds like a little bit more of a dressier finish whereas right. this is traditional your traditional menswear inspired with those feminine details i totally agree the beautiful stitch work like even on each side of this band here and then all around the outsole that's what i love and that's what clark's is known for all of those amazing details on each side you have that gore for that added flexibility to slip it on and off and then of course you have that great footbed there that ultimate comfort so you're going to have that great cushioning let me ask too i'm asking fran and dan and everybody upstairs i think camille's up there too um do we have the animation that will allow liana to teach us more about that ultimate comfort i know we saw it earlier with another shoe style yeah they're calling it the full page i'm calling it the animation the chart the <laughs> picture it is. the pie graphic <laughs> this thing that is targeted cushioning where you need it most. So you have cushion pads underneath your heel, right at your arch and underneath the ball of your foot, as well as perforation. So it's gonna wick away that moisture, keep it breathable from heel to toe. So you have great underfoot cushioning for a shoe that you're gonna be wearing, you know, all throughout your day at work. Then you're going out on the weekends or you're going out to dinner. Everybody really needs a great loafer in their wardrobe. So why not get a stylish, comfortable one as this Cora is? It's funny, people are probably laughing, thinking like, well, of course the shoe that I've been wearing for 5, 10, 15, 30 right? years, everybody wants to wear this year. I've already known it was comfortable. I already know it's all American and preppy and classy and high end. So maybe the shoe that you love for years needs updating. I mean, look at how new this is. I love shoes, but let's be honest, we do wear them and we wear them often. So even great brands like Clark's, if you live in the shoe every single day,
away for an entire season or a whole year or two or three years, it needs updating. And if you look down in your closet and it's the holiday season where the family and the friends are going to see you and you think, oh, my loafer has seen better days. Oh, <laughs> it has been used and abused and I got all my money worth, or worth from it, but now it's time to get myself a new one. This is flying out the door right now. We are loving it. I'm scared the tan is going to sell out. That's how much we love it. We're certainly mm. getting ready to like just lose sizes here. So here's the tan in my hand. Free shipping ends tonight. Plus you have that easy pay of under $14. This black is causing a sensation. Everybody wants the black option. I'm telling you, when winter wind picks up, and the cold weather comes in and you still need to look nice on Saturday nights or fancy on Sunday mornings, you're going to wish that you had that black loafer with your trouser sock and your black pant right. and a beautiful blouse. And then there's that stunning burgundy color, which feels like this deep, rich, almost like eggplanty purple color. If you love fashion, that's the one to get. You'll wear it with mm -hmm. your denims, you'll wear it with your black, your browns, your gray. Would look so pretty with that. But again, I repeat, it's under $70. Let's kind of start from the beginning. We don't have to go into the whole idea of the loafer as the in shoe. I think we definitely yes. <laughs> hammered that one home. But walk me through, give me like another tour so everybody can see what makes yours so special. Yeah, so this is the Cora outsole. The Cora is an update to our Ashlyn, which is a super popular outsole, an inch and three quarters. The upper is the Ashley. Beautiful oily leather. So what that is is a leather mixed with like a suede feel to it. Beautiful toe shape. Look at the stitch detail. Again, the hand of Clark's, all of those beautiful stitching detail there, the little V stitch that's across the band. Those are three different pieces, like they're three pieces of leather. I mean, they're all in one, but look at the detail there. So like you said, you can slip that penny in if you want that quarter, whatever we were saying. It is that traditional menswear inspired, but with those feminine accents. On the side, you can see that's a great shot of the gore. So you have that added Thank flexibility, you, slipping it on and off. Inside is that ultimate comfort footbed, all that purposeful padding where you need it most, all padded back at your heel as well, and lined you, inside with that microfiber I feel like I'm living suede. in this shoe. Like, right? I really lining. see it. Thank you. So, like, for me and you, Amy, when we slip in barefoot, everything around your foot is super comfortable. Not going to rub, not going to pinch, suede footbed there, too, and just a great traditional-looking loafer. All I have to say is, Dan, thank you for this amazing camera work, and I'm <laughs> really glad I painted my nails nicely tonight because <laughs> that is an extreme close-up. We are grateful. It's like picking up the shoe physically in a store right now. Um, yes. You know, they are new, and they have been absolutely loved. We are very, very busy right now if you want them to wear in just a few days because that's you know how long it'll probably take to get them if today is Sunday I'm thinking hopefully next Sunday you could have these on your feet perhaps a little longer forgive me if I you know am rushing things but I'm hoping in just a few days you'll be wearing these but I know you'll have them for Thanksgiving what do you do that day my sister shows up to these holiday events Liana my older one not my younger one in heels and I stare at her like she's not my sister <laughs> How does she do that? But that is her, and it works, and she's got her heels on. Right? Middle sister, that's me, and little sister, that would be Sarah. We don't do the heels. Not on Thanksgiving, not on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. We will be the girls in the loafers, the sneakers, the cloud stepper boots. Right. Um, so Love big her. sister, I swear she has the same parents, but that girl, I don't know how she does it. <laughs> um, and she even stays and helps clean up in those heels. But I'll be drinking my wine yeah. and eating the dessert and helping mom with dishes in comfortable shoes. So get them for Thanksgiving. Have them for the entire holiday season. Right. But, you know, Liana mentioned, like, if you go to work and you're putting your corporate outfits together do it with this shoe if you do something on the weekends because you've cooked Monday through Friday you've got all your cleaning done and your laundry done on Saturday afternoon and now you want to order off a menu Liana wear this shoe to the restaurant right. but we need to place our order now we're running out of sizes and options it's medium and wide widths it's 5 through 12 whole and half there's only three great colors in the free shipping and the five easy monthly payments, 
they both are out of here at the end of the night. We haven't had a lot of shoes on the day on Q2. Heck, when I think about the holiday party, we haven't had a lot of shoes. So get yourself ready for the holiday parties now. This has been incredibly popular. I've got tan in my hand, 4,500 orders placed this month. Tan, burgundy, which feels more purpley plum. And then everyone's racing to get that black tonight. So please don't wait. I'm scared we'll lose that in sizes soon. 851. 8580. So Fran is following along. I adore him for this. We 